Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the differences between emissions, task pools, and packages. Now if you've been keeping along with the tiny update, which we've had all these wonderful little additions, this is another one of those things that kind of snuck in under the radar a little bit, and it's actually pretty useful in a lot of ways. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, uh, we hit the F11 key and we bring up our classic little mission editor. This is the latest and greatest version where they put all the tabs in like nice and easy to use places and everything. But more importantly, uh, we come over here and we notice we have a couple different buttons over here that we had from before. We also have our time, we've taken a look at that in other videos. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the differences are. So let's say I want to create a mission. I'm going to go ahead and click on this uh, little port Stanley Airport here. I'm going to go ahead and create myself a traditional mission. And uh, let's say blow it up. Why not? I think I've done that a few times, but oh well. Strike, and we're going to do a land strike, press the okie doke button. Cool. So now this is a standard mission. So if I go up to escort, I can set my WRA, I can come over here to my targets, I can go ahead and say, oh, I want to go engaging into Winchester, I want to end the mission after they've blown things up, I want them to just focus on strike targets, and again, I can come in here and change my targets. For example, I know I'm not going to be shooting at that runway, for example, so I can knock that off, and we'll just concentrate on bombing kind of the tarmac and stuff like that. And now what you would do, of course, is you come over to units, you pick the units you'd want, let's say we want these A4Ps, we go boop, just like that, and now we're good to go for this particular mission. That's all there really, really is to it in this particular case. Now you're saying, okay, but you said you're telling me about task pools and packages today. Yeah, I am. So let's take a look. So I'm going to delete that mission, I'm going to go up to add again, and this time I'm going to switch over to a task pool. So up to mission, task pool. What is a task pool? A task pool is basically a group of similar unit arcs, doesn't have to be similar. It is a group of units that can be assigned packages. I'm sure what I mean. So let's go ahead and call this um, task force one. Go ahead and say it's okay and press okay. Notice there's no mission here. There's no options for missions. All you're doing is selecting who belongs to task force one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab all these A4Ps, I'm gonna grab all these A4Qs, and we'll go ahead and grab, um, let's see, the, uh, we'll actually leave those for the other task force. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there. So I'm gonna go ahead and create another one. Uh, we'll go ahead and create this as a task pool. We'll call this task, take force, task force two. Press the okay button. Come here, I'll grab the other Skyhawks and I'll also grab the MB339 alphas there. Just like that. And now let's go ahead and create a support task group as well. Let's go to task pool. Support task group. Perfect. Press OK. And I'm going to go ahead and toss in all of these aircraft right here. Just like that. Now you're sitting there saying, well, that's very nice. Uh, you've gotten yourself uh, quite organized. Uh, well, what's, what's the point? Well, the point here is now that each one of these groups has been defined as a task force or a task pool, I can now add packages to them. Let me show you. So first things first, uh, I want a couple different missions here. Um, I want to do some anti-surface warfare, and at the same time, as I also want to strike this airport, because why not? So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and define an area that I'm going to use for some anti-surface warfare here. Press Control F11 like I always do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, not give it a name. Instead, what I'm going to do is go to Mission, click on Package. And what you're going to see here is now a couple different things have appeared. Uh, the first one here is we have a name for this package. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Falcon series, like Falcon 3. I think the first Falcon I played was Falcon 2, and it was like on a flappy disk, going back a few years. So I like my package numbers, but that's just me. So I go to class, we're going to call this one a patrol. We're going to make this an anti-surface warfare patrol naval, and we're going to set it to active. Now notice, I have a new option down here to select who I'm pulling units from. So in this case, I'm going to pull them out of Task Force 1, press the okie doke button. Now notice, this looks just like the mission page. The difference, though, is you can only pull aircraft from the task Cool. So let's say I wanted to grab both of those squadrilles and I'll toss them over here into that. And now we've got both of the squadrons assigned to this mission. Now I could treat it exactly like I would normally do. Let's say I want to keep, uh, try to keep eight on station at all times. Oh, we'll go ahead and uh, pop that off. Um, we're not going to worry about that. Movement style is perfect. That's what I want. My flight size are going to be sizes of four. I think this is what they used in Falcons. I'd have to look this up. We can come in here and uh, change things just like, you know, the transit altitude, attack altitudes. I'm going to let them kind of decide that on their own. <laughs> Next, what I'm going to do is you can go to the WRA. You can just have what's going to happen here. All right, looks pretty good. Not going to change anything here. I could come in here and like get really, really technical with the different bombs, but not going to. Just not needed for this one. But you'll notice a new thing has occurred, and that's over here on the left. I now have my task force with a package in it. So now let's go ahead and uh, we already have those guys quite occupied. Let's go ahead and create another package. Go ahead and shut this one off. We'll also do some uh, anti-inconveniencing of this airport here. Control F11 again. I'm going to go switch this over to package mode. Package 5865. Sounds good to me. Land strike. Looks good. Looks good. I'm going to pull from Task Force 2. Grab this one right here. The MB339 alphas cannot make that flight, so I'm not even going to bother with them. So we're going to go ahead and pop them in here, and of course, this is when you can set all your normal stuff here. Sizes of 4 sounds good to me. I'm actually going to go up to sizes of 6. I'll shut this button off just in case I did my math wrong. Like we said before, we'll go ahead and pop those off kind of real quick. 
Uh, let's see, dude, focus on strike targets. That's exactly what I'm hoping for. I'm not going to bother with any of this here. I'm not going to worry about the uh, WRA for the escorts either because we don't have any escorts or anything like that. So now we have those two packages ready to rock. Now, if I wanted to, I could come in here and define my takeoff time. So if I wanted to uh, package 85864, for example, take off before or after, I could come in here and actually do that right now. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see, 5.30 on the AM scale. It is 9.30 Zulu. So we'll order this group to take off at, uh, let's call it uh, 9.45. Actually, we have to be Zulu time here. 09.35 and 0 seconds. Sounds good to me. I'm not going to worry about time on station. Let's go pop over to Task Force 2 here. We'll go ahead and order them to take off a little bit later in the day. Oh, we got a little bit of a warning here about range. I'm not worried about that yet because I'm just going to add some stuff onto there. So don't panic. All right, so let's go ahead and say that'll be 09. Let's call it 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock is fine. You're going to get a bunch of angry things here. Don't worry about it because uh, we're just going to sign some refuelers real quick. Sweet. So this is all set and ready to rock. I'll go ahead and close that. Let's go ahead and create a refueling pattern over here. And then we'll use a different task force for that particular mission here. Control F11 again. I'm going to go ahead and say this will be a support mission. Let's go ahead and press the okie doke. I actually remember this is a package this time. Package, task force, support. Just like that, you can see they're pre-selected, and you can see the package is ready to rock. So I can grab all these guys and toss them into this mission right away. Um, one of the things I will do is I will not enforce this. I'll say this, and I'll, let's see here, escorts, we don't have any escorts or anything like that. Well, let's see here, one thing we do want though is under WRA is we want them to turn on their radars. <laughs> oh, good, it's already activated, sweet. So I'm not gonna stress about that too much because uh, yeah, there would be no targets. Unless of course I did this one as a patrol. Give me a second. Indeed I did. <laughs> oh well, what are you gonna do? Go back to the F11 page here. Toss those guys in there, and now we're good to go. Now when I go to WRA, it'll have radar off. Woo, good. Making sure I'm not going insane here. Looks pretty good. Mission settings are looking good. Uh, one third, try to keep units on station. Here's a fun thing to do. You do five, even though there's only three of them, and that means they're all on station, which will work really well for us, which is exactly what we want to do. So we have them assigned to this mission. They're ready to rock. The mission settings are ready to rock. We can change the takeoff time and everything like that if we needed to. We could make them take off immediately, which actually makes a lot of sense if you ask me. So let's go ahead and order them to take off at 09, 30, and 30 seconds. So in about 30 seconds from now, they're going to start the process of getting airborne. Now what we can do is actually go back to task force two. Remember how this one didn't have enough fuel to make it? So now what we can do is we can actually pop over and define what we have for air-to-air -air refueling. So I can pop in here real quickly and I can actually select that other package to be the ones with the refueling. So now we're going to have the capability to actually fly, get gas halfway, and then of course come back, get some gas, and then go back to base, kind of a thing like that. So they're now ready to rock. Uh, that was a very dangerous thing I just did. <laughs> so um, uh, hopefully uh, nothing bad happens. Now if I click here like this, yeah, see how all the flights generated without any issues here? The reason they did not is because now we have tankers in place. They will be able to go, well, okay, that's going to be an awfully long flight, but whatever you say, boss, kind of a thing like that. All righty then. So uh, look at our air tasking order here. We've got tons of stuff going on. So this is going to be a ton of fun for us. So we'll see exactly what happens. I don't know why they're on maritime surveillance here. I believe they're, oh, it's because of the way that that was set up. Ah, not stressing about it. All right, so let's speed up time here. So uh, I believe our first crew is going to start taking off Let's see, two and a half minutes plus 9.30, I believe it's 9.33 should be the initial time. And those will be our tankers getting themselves in ready. Uh, the nice thing about aerial air refueling here, of course, is uh, the way that this is set up is uh, when it does launch, oh, there they go. It's not gonna matter, anybody can use them. So they're gonna get on the way. There comes all my strikers. <laughs> look at them go. Now this is super fun to look at. So what you do is you go hit up your air tasking order real quick and you can just see just how chaotic everything is. <laughs> look at that. One of the neat things about the ATO too is I can actually come in here now and change some of these numbers if I had to, but you can see everybody's kind of going. We shall see what happens here. I would definitely be a little bit nervous if I were, you know, the United Kingdom here. Although I get the feeling a couple of these are probably going to get popped on the way down because I did put quite a few uh, things on the ground there to make things interesting for us. Oh, they all ran out of fuel and had to go refuel. <laughs> That's a familiar sight. Looks like our strikers are going to make it though. Oh, nope, they refueled. They're good. Nope, they all ran out of gas again. There's my successful strike. It looks like the rapiers didn't do what they were supposed to do there. What a shame, what a shame. And obviously there's a lot of mission planning on my part that I did not do. But again, the goal of this video was to show you just how effective it is to organize your forces with your task pools. Now there's one more thing I wanna to share too. Now if I bring this up, notice if I wanna create a new mission real quick. Let's say I just wanna create a, uh, just a fake mission here. Fake mission, fake, fake and press the okay key. Notice that the aircraft that were assigned to the task forces are not here. So it's worth noting that if you do do this, you're not going to have them available for regular missions. Enjoy.